Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll see there, the US 30 is, uh, it had drifted down again below potential resistance at 16.969. It's trying to have a re-challenge right now, but effectively most global markets are drifting lower with slight bounces, but without any sort of uh, kind of major confidence in the move. And last night we had Twitter report its results, top end of expectations. The stock soared 15% on the news, and we've already had uh, Barclays results this morning, um, which uh, were actually 10% less than last year, but we've still got a 2.24% increase in the UK um, Barclays stock this morning. Looking at the UK 100, um, again, lots of volatility kicking around this potential support at 6774. Um, not a huge amount of uh, conviction in which direction this is going now. We do have the Fed chair statement due tonight at 7 p.m. UK time, and we've got US GDP and, of course, ADP private payrolls. And Friday, we do have non farm payrolls. So, a lot of markets waiting for that to get out of the way before they resume their chosen direction. However, Asian markets are going great guns. China A50, Japan 225, uh, lots of big gains over there. Dollar yen is breaking out nicely right now, uh, hitting 102 spot 20 as we speak. Japan 225's next potential resistance 15828, and there seems to be a nice little bit of momentum on there. Um, since the data came out at the start of the week regarding Chinese companies' profitability. So looking at the um, dollar yen uh, is moving up nicely. Next short term uh, potential uh, resistance uh, will be the tip of this candle. Um, so we're probably looking around about uh, 102 spot 30. So we're very close to that right now. Uh, only 12 points away from that. Um, looking at crude oil West Texas, it continues to feel the pressure. Uh, now currently almost in between two ranges, 103 and 100 spot 61 for exactly the same reason, reasons that I've mentioned in uh, my last previous videos. Um, a balancing out of conflict versus supply concerns over interest rate um, hikes potentially. And uh, looking at crude oil, uh, today, there's obviously crude oil inventories on a Wednesday as well, um, but all these um, interest rate uh, length announcements such as GDP, the Fed share statement, uh, non farm payrolls, blah, 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 that might have big impacts on uh, gold as well, on, well, it will have impacts on gold, but also on crude. So gold will be sensitive to any dollar positive moves. Uh, and you know a few traders now are kind of taking a little bit more of a bullish bet, more of a hawkish view on the US dollar. I'm seeing it in cable, I'm seeing it in euro dollar, and we're seeing it in dollar yen. So right now it's kind of gone dollar dollar crazy right now. Um, but potential support at 12.95 has been in play for quite a while, and uh, today is no different. So that looks to be the short-term strategic level, but a lot of fundamentals um, kind of adding pressure to gold in the short term. So looking at euro dollar, euro dollar has finally completely broken through quite cleanly that potential support one spot. 34.55. Longer term um, potential support is all the way down at one spot 33, but it's really one spot 32 is the next potential level to have a look at as well. I'm finishing up at GBP USD. Uh, it's also moving lower. One spot 70 or one spot 69.23 is a potential short term support, followed by one spot 68.20. So you're finally getting some volatility in the FX markets. Hopefully, our clients get the opportunity to uh, take advantage of that. Economic data wise, uh, as I mentioned, there's a lot of stuff due today that will impact your dollar, cable, uh, and gold, and everything else. So you've got consumers confidence in the eurozone at 10, ADP private payrolls at quarter past one. This is all UK time. Uh, US GDP, crude oil inventories. Matter of fact, this is like a bonanza of uh, macroeconomic data. And then you've got the, uh, the Fed funds rate statement, blah, 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 7 p.m. UK time. Thursday, we've got um, jobless rates in Germany, uh, we've got unemployment uh, jobless rates in the eurozone plus a whole bunch of uh, jobless claims as well. And obviously Friday is the big day. You've got non-farm payrolls, you've got UK PMI, uh, German PMI. Basically, this is going to be the golden time to uh, to be involved in the markets. Lots of big things happening that can uh, be a catalyst to drive the markets in a particular direction. Make sure you don't miss out. Keep your eye on the chart forum for uh, technical updates from our global analyst team. Make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.